they've been practicing more or less every day as it looks like we're about to go live do you have, do you still do introductions in the TV? I'm gonna do an introduction anyway I don't know if the Kenichi was gonna stay I'm gonna say Kenichi war again welcome to Vino TV the Highlander Nations Cup the semi finals this is the first map in the red corner we have the French in the blue corner we have the finish the Finns will be setting a time first I am Scully the cameraman tonight as per usual with Ari with me is Hildreth and Hildreth as we start it's uh I don't like the sentry gun position it's too much of an angle for me I just want to get that out of the way oh yes that's sentry gun yeah I kind of I kind of agree with you because if they do have the Wrangler set up you can really um yeah, you spam that doorway as he comes comes in. Whilst if they have that angle, they can just peek the door, go back and forth. But I think it's more they're more thinking about um, if they lose the top bit on the hill around the left where their combo's holding, they, they can buy more time for the sentry. That's my thinking behind yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is with that one, it's the same situation. It's better than what I saw before with the Danes, where it can be it can be attacked when when they get onto the hill. So I do prefer it in the splashless zone where the teleporter and teleporter is. But we shall see as we go into the the first trade really just be a couple bombs to see where everyone is, try and make a force. So let's see what they're gonna do right now. It's just gonna be passing I'm pretty pretty surprised how fast that heavy man has come with come forward. That is uh Hepper there coming forward no, it's great, sorry not Hepper, that's his car now it's great. The sentry gun for shots goes down, it's only a mini sentry, that doesn't matter much. But nothing happening at the moment, no trade as per yet of importance. It's a suicide run by uh, Fiddlerdens as they walked in, and the only kill they've got is a spy. It's all. He trades his life for just two kills. He's going to be back up in 20 seconds. Nappa tried to go in to do something with the French. Smart positioning on the hill. So Finland really got the cart far enough, they should get their combo in. Force and yeah. Uber exchange. They should be able to take the hill, I reckon. And I think that's the bomb just scouting where the sentry is. The sentry's been scouted. Look at Shorty, he's putting many sentries up, so they are content to hold here as much as they can. And you are right, really. I think that now Muffins, isn't it time for Muffins to come really try and look They're forward. They're trying it again. They were trying it again there and didn't get anything. They all ran into text. Minigun. Is still a pyro up there trying to cause havoc? Nothing. Look what K3 is. This is a really great place by K3. He's not going to get caught whatsoever. As well, again, the whole finish, te uh, finish team gets wiped out. Just K3 here in a great position. He can't get sniped. He can't get backstabbed. He can only be bombed by a soldier. But to get bombed by a soldier, uh, that's impossible. Yeah, you're right. It's because of the skybox. In fact, that's a heavy. It's really difficult to get to him. That's even more reason why Finland should be um, pushing their combo in. Are they doing it this time? No, they're doing the same thing. This time, Are Ruse got the force, a snipe. Though, but they yep. the, force. the force has been made. Just this, fact, this is key for them. Now the force has been made, I expect the Finns really they're going to look to try and take the high ground. Where is K3? Where is Muffin? Sorry, not K3, K3's on the other team. There is Muffin. Let's see what they're going to do right now. I'm expecting, like I said, a walk up to the top of the hill. That's exactly what they want to do. Here comes the Devil Man straight away. The Uber comes off straight away. Bit of chugging about. Let me get to happen. Kuna goes down, taken away. Sentry gun for shots to take away. There goes Sabbath Sabbath. They've dropped a couple players. Now come the heavy weapons going on to that Sentry gun. It's still standing. Just finding it taken out. They're going to start cleaning up. Teleporter's still up. This is key. Teleport is still up and oh my god, Muffins is so close. Brilliant wipe though, he should be able to hold on. They can't push this actually, sorry, no, they can't do anything with it. They just got totally wiped out there. They put too many people in the wrong place, it felt like. Yeah, there and Plapla did huge work when that Uber came in. He pushed through the cart and got two kills and cleaned up the heavy, flippy, hitting headshots. France lost too many players though, so the spawns aren't in their favour, but Look at Zoom, well Zoom. Oh, that's Izzel, sorry. It's all taking Kurates down, he was trying to go for a medic pick there. Get the backstab, but they do capture the point, and that's one of the slowest first captures I've seen in a while. Wow, 228. Kuna. Yeah, it is, um, but Kuna just got himself picked there. France have an uber advantage, but if Finland play this right, they could get the uber force just by being aggressive. We'll see if them France want to use this aggressively. Again, K3 just being really safe, and I like this. Teleporter's right behind him, and it's just going to be quick, it's going to be finished building. The sentry gun is built far back to it, to be started being built. Now the Finns, like you said, they're going to have the Uber if they play this safe. And I think it could, we could be looking at an Uber versus Uber push here. Which could be interesting to see as they come around the corner. Lovely headshot onto Flippy there, that's what Rui needs. And if you take down Flippy, he's such a formidable sniper. Anyway, here comes the push anyway. Couple sticky, should take rid of this one sticky, two sticky, three sticky. Sentry gun finally goes down. If that's the only thing they get for the Uber, that's going to be good for them. The trade does come up. They are losing players right now. A lot of plays being happened. But at the same time, I think the Finns are in a comfortable position as they go for a repush right now. And there goes the Sentry Gun again. And Team wow. does go down. But again, K3, like really good medic, knows when to back out from that 66 experience. And he's just really just playing it safe. And he, he hasn't even died once yet. In fact, no medic's died yet. No, then K3 
Curitas, the heavy for um, Finland, went huge in that push. He went behind with a couple of his players, and they just like forced the French combo to you know double back instead of chasing the Finnish combo out. It just gave room for the Finns to repush. It was good, uh, good play. And the question is, well, yeah, well, will they want to go for this? Like, will will the French decide to defend this? They do want to decide to defend this, and all they get really is just a spike kill, and then they go. But this is it the thing, like? In my Zoom, Zoom will yeah. jump, they will back him up. This is what happened. There we go, Zoom's jumped, but they didn't back him up quick enough. He's oh, still he still got the sentry. sentry. He took the sentry gun, that is actually crucial. Like, uh, there comes the Uber straight away, the Uber's in early. Then they finally take it, the sentry gun's popping, it's an Uber trade. You can get taken down as well, so that's not going to matter much. Soldier Bob straight onto the medic, does get taken out there. Brilliant hold, Team Act, uh, Gabby, that is Team Act, sorry. It's Team Act and uh, K3. Now K3 finally gets taken out to a rocket from Zoom. But they are able to push this really, and now they've got the numbers, but it is only five versus two. The French will be gonna do it, but Kuna with a double kick. Can he get any more? He's looking to get more, finally gets taken out. And they're gonna capture this. 449 with three points from that two minute 28 start. This is a really great, and they can make a lot of time on this. And there's only two up, and now there's about five up. Yeah, this is, these spawns are really crucial for France. And those two kills by Kuna, I think, saved the round, because it would have given France a it's been the opportunity to dry push. I mean, they're still trying to put pressure on, make a play on the medic. But um, their spawns have come up, and Finland will have to do this very difficult thing called push and bomb blitz last. In 4 ah. minutes 50 seconds. We That's... love this! Let's push bomb blitz last. How do you do that? Well, I it's think, kind of hard. I think I've spent more time commentating on watching this point be pushed than anything else in TFT. Yeah. I, I, I know that feeling. Great player from Kurt Rui. He does take down a kill, but they did lose Napa, so not going to be able to do anything. All they need to do is scout up that sentry gun. Oh, wow, they scouted out so quickly that it, it didn't get enough time to get to level 3. does get pre-built, though. They can't take it down, but they know where it is. As Zoom goes down again, that's what they don't need. They need to make sure everyone's alive so they can take this. Sentry gun goes down, so look for the push right now. That's what I'm thinking of. And he's where T-Mac goes down, Rui goes down. Can the Finns do this? They want to go for this straight away. There's no Uber yet. Oh, no. Free. Now comes the Uber. But they do lose the met heavy weapons guy. Tech goes down. The Pirates is going to push him out. And there you go. You have got Muffins there. He does reach. He does retreat there. And with his team, they lose Eunice. But this is great for them. And now they're overextending. That's... Double kill there from the sentry gun. And Flippy gets a couple as That's well. That's why the, um, this is such a hard push, point to push. Because you saw Zappas do. Zappas and uh, Saba Saba linked up a great little play on the sentry, bonk and sap him. Took the sentry out, the engineer out. Then Tech got dropped in the Uber. Now they got all of these like advantages in the Uber fight, but because of the way the point is played. Yeah, there that's was the still thing as well, but like, you see you see still Zub there going through yeah. Yeah. I did the thing with Pro, like you see Zoop, he goes through that area, this new area that they made just for the pro map. But even still if you push through there it's still hard to do it through. Because whatever way you go, apart from the high ground you're gonna get jumped on by a heavy weapons guy or something by an Uber if they play position. In I, fact, that's the thing, the French are playing really passive when you're looking at now just, being the reason The reason they're passive is because of where Kuna is. I mean, he's he's trying to deny the, co the combo of yeah, Finland. He gets picked out, he's all by himself trying to hold a, hold a place by himself with stickies and no heals, and he dies. I think Kuna hasn't played, didn't particularly impress me. I mean, I talked about him. Now they go. Now they need to go definitely. There goes the shot take down the Thappers. That's not going to happen. Mojiza goes down. Sentry gun. The, the Uber has not taken out the Sentry gun. Now it's finally taken out. They've lost two players with the extent of the Sentry gun. Maybe they want to go for a repush right now, but they can't lose any more players and they lose units. So they won't be able to push again. They've either got to commit or not. Um, so at the moment, it seems like they want to throw someone down with the Uber just to take down the Sentry gun. And then what do they do? If you send one guy out for the Uber to with the Uber to take a Sentry gun, you still got no Uber to go for a push again. So it's pointless because the Sentry gun will be back up again. So really confusing plays at the moment by the Finns. I must admit. They need to use the Uber to get position rather exactly. than get frags or damage because they just single Uber tech, and he's a big wall of um. 450 health. You can't do anything because he'll tear you apart and they'll have a better Uber than you, France. They need to get position. This high ground. Look at Zoob going in for a bomb. Deagon manages to save his um, medic. Cause, nice, uh, Zoob sacrifice. He got managed to get Deagon, but look, Nappa's trying to get, get in top and bully tech away. He needs support from his team. They could get that. Oh, there's a spy on the combo for Finland's. It's oh, but he's taking Kurates as well. That's the yeah. key. He's taking Kurates. And yet again, I just see this just standing around the dispenser here while they're trying to build. I don't like that because it stops. It stops a lot of the build time that Medic can have, and it's not a game oh, of advantage. Of 
but so you just oh, came man. in and dropped K3. I think you came from that underside. And Muffin dropped talk about. as well. Muffin oh. dropped as well. Oh. So double drop. Wow! Straight away, double drop there, and really now Finns can't really be aggressive, and the French are just countering the aggression. Working well for them. Napa goes down. Sentry gun just does not want to go down. And like I said, it goes down, and then it's rebuilt because they've used the Rupa to take down a Sentry gun. Not going to work like that. As you see, 5 minutes 40 is left on the game time. So already, this is going to be a 9 minute capture. Yeah, Fins needs to bully, bully the French off of that top balcony non Uber to like, get a demo man in there, because Kuna isn't holding there at all. They, they can easily win that ground if they just recognise the fact that Kuna's in a bad position. Which I have to say, I hate to call players out in TF2. No, I, I love it really. But Kuna has <laughs> been playing really poorly. <laughs> Apart from those two kills that he got on the third point. His positioning has just been really bad. All I'm gonna say is the last time I casted a Vana Bomb Blitz, I, ca I, uh, I called out one flower because he kept on dropping. And what happened? He then turned it around and won the game for his team. So may maybe you've just set Kuna off. Maybe you've lit his spark and he's probably now gonna play lights out. Rui goes down again. They wanna use his Uber. They haven't used the Uber yet because they don't have the Uber yet. That's well done, Scully. Look at the Uber advantage. Now they've got the Uber. They've gotta push with this. They've only lost Rui. Here they go again. They're gonna try and take down the. What they do? Look. What is the sentry gun doing? It's still up, it's still up, it's still up, it's finally taken No, it's not even taken down! Look at that, the, the, the throwing but, a demo man! But look at Finland, they've got, they tried to get back in position, you were saying they were throwing the demo man in, Napa tried to jump out, but Kuna was finally in the right position, but he got picked actually by the engineer, now he's a repush you were talking about, but Flippy... Yeah, Flippy gets a double kill, sentry gun's still up, K3 never even uses oop, and I hate to say this, maybe... Uber's not the way to go right now. Like, they can take down, actually, they've taken down. Can they take the central Yeah, they took down Mistral. Now the Uber's forced as well. K3 Uber is fourth. That's going to be crucial. Actually, that is crucial. Because look at Muffins. He's on 81% right now. They have to go in on this when they've got it. They've Ooh, got to try to jump. He's, he's low. He's Blah, low. Blah. Can he die? Ah, doesn't take it now. Brilliant recognition there from Blah Blah and teammates. That's what they need right now. And, I mean, the point is close. Look, the car has been moved. But even still. They lose the advantages, they gain, gain advantages and then lose it, and that is a complete wipe unless Zappis can do anything, and he's not going to do something by himself, surely. Let's he just see that. No, no, brilliant there. Brilliant yeah. there, taking off Kuna. That's the, the French recognising that they got Uber Force, and Plapler and T-Mac, they're so experienced 6v6 players, they know that their combo got forced, they know that they have to get the Medic. It's like, anything less is unacceptable. So they both went for that T-Mac jumping from that top window side. The locker room size, sorry, and Plapa came in through main. Between them, they managed to get the medic down on 80%. Painful for the Finns, but I mean, I'm impressed with the French, just general French play, Solid and the defense. standard of their players. Yes. Uh, but Kuna just really, she, he really needs to step it up in terms of positioning, because he's died seven or eight times on defense. Finns should be taking advantage of this, but the point is difficult to push. I just and don't Finns think they're using Uber you're, Like you said, yeah, yeah saying, we said not that. Using it well. we, we've said this for a while. Look, there goes Rui down again. Ezil's taken down. This is key. Can they get the oh, Zappa? He can't. Can he take the medic? Can he take the demo? There's the Zappa. Wait, Sentry Gun's down. Now comes the Uber. And again, it's just a trade off. It's a boring trade off. Let's reset, recycle. Which you don't need. Like, they can't afford this. I see when they're going for an Uber push, I see four people at most go in for Finland. They need at least eight of them to go in. But like, they can't throw away, uh, if they even get wiped, so what? They've thrown everything and the kitchen sink. Yeah, the main, the main thing as well about getting more people on the flanks, as you mentioned in this, it just distracts the combo, for so that it allows you to escape as I'm watching them spy coming up behind Muffins. Oh, she turns around just in time. And look, they're trying to bully themselves in top now, like I was saying, non-Ubers. This is what they need to do. If teams only start doing this when they are under pressure. But, um, Rui takes down Mr. Yeah, there you go. Take, take down a couple oh, kills right now. But it's going to be 5 versus 6. 5 versus 6 is going to be the key right now. What can they do? Uber, they're going to be up for both of them. If the Muffins just stays alive, he takes down Kareets. So they can't do much with this. But Ubers are both up for both teams. What can they do with this? 135 is left on the map in total. So they've got 1 minute 30 to try and put, push that car all the way to the end. Of course, overtime rules do count for this if they do touch it. So they really need to get onto this car. They, even if they force an they force the Uber. They've actually forced the Uber. K3 had no point. Now comes the late Uber force, but then the soldier just gone by himself. That's a wasted Uber from the Finns again. Can they do something with this? Do they lose Zoom. Napa takes down Deegan and Isil. Can they take down the heavy weapons? No, Karate gets taken down to pipe. 
And Muffins is on her own. Can Muffins do anything? Muffins does the fight, but look at them. They're out of position right now. Heavy Weapons guy could easily just jump down right and drop the base, and he doesn't have to, which is a good thing for them. Well, it's a good thing for the French, but not for the Finn. 53 is left on the map time. They Ooh, cannot tech take caught. down Tech. Tech Can is so weak. He's so weak. No, they weak. can't. Still, he's still alive. 25 they're, they're all so like. weak, they need to push in and support Napa. He did like 500 damage, but they're all really slow. But here they come, Napa, doing tons of damage and they've got in for free. Now they just need more more kills, that's all they need now, kills. Get that sentry down, Napa's focusing on the sentry. That's just really spamming it, Zub and Napa syncing up. That's what Here's they need Uber. right now, the Ubers work right now, but the counter has come off a of K3. It is going to take him down right now, as there's nothing left for the Finn. Can uh, Spike do anything? He's on his own. There goes Sabba Sabba as well. He's so with 13 seconds, that's it really. Unless someone can jump on that point and force an overtime. I don't think it's going to happen right now. So, we're going to be in the weird position where it's a free capture race again. Another free capture race with an absolutely shot. So let's watch that the overtime should hold on for that. 5, 4, 3, 2. Scout trying to go in. Zappers can't do much. That's it. So, for those unaware of the rule right now, not all four captures were captured. Capture, capture, capture. Because of that, all the French need to do is get to the third point inside 4 minutes 49. If they don't, that's fine. They've got to take it all the way to the end with the map time. So really, 4.49 or it could be 15 minutes. Let's hope it's not 15 minutes, let's hope it's 4.49 and just see where the spins now want to put their sentry. And here it is, in this unsplashable, you know, in this unsplashable place which I talk about. Because you look at it, there's a dispenser behind it, there's a teleporter behind it. There's so much room, there is no splash damage that can deal damage to that sentry gun. And that's why I like that position right there. And it's, uh, yes, it's going to be a little bit open to the elements when they come up the hill, but it's going to help you when it comes to defending that car. Yeah, that's certainly true, maybe. It, it really depends. This first point, it's the only reason Finland took over two minutes to do it is because of the way they their strategy. They just wanted to go for the suicide plays rather than force an uber exchange. It's almost as if they don't believe that their combo can win an uber fight. Which I, d I don't agree with you, really. You've got to believe that you can make a push happen. But I mean, we'll see. I think we'll see something different from the French. More aggression. They play more, I'd hate to say American style. But the way I saw them play against SNSD, the Daradu 2 team, they were super aggressive. That's what we're seeing here. Karu gets taken down a straight away, and so does T Man. So, another there. They were trying to get onto Muffin, she did not get hit at all. So Muffin still stays alive, which is the key. Remember, it's all about making that medic force, but you're right. Look how aggressive the French are. K3 is forward with the rest of the team. They're going to force They're not waiting. Oh, And flippy. then Muffin drops to a flippy. Wow. Just at the right time, the caster's curse comes off. They don't even need to use the Zuba, they can hold it. Are they going to use it for Grace? Yes, Grace is on 7 health, he has no choice. And there goes Kuna taking everything down, and the kick Kabuto gets taken out there. They do take down a lot, and with four minutes left, that was a that was a 48 second first capture. That is a key of aggression. You are right when you talk about aggression. Brilliant, just to stay with K3 going forward. Wow, Flippy is on fire as well in this game. Look at his points, dominations. I have to say, Flippy and Isel are doing so much work for the French. When you have like your sniper and your spy doing that much work for your team, it's just so much easier for your combo in Highlander. It's so much easier for your combo to do things. I mean, look, look how far forward they are right now. They're actually holding upstairs, upstairs where the fit, well, where the Finns should be defending for second. Look at all these kills they've got, like four kills from their flank. Like it's Flippy T Mac, he still gets three or four kills. Rue needs to do something big. He's got one snipe already. We're just trying to find his point of view. Maybe there's a key sniper v sniper fight. He's in that house. Flippy takes him down. Flippy's dominating this game as a sniper right now. And K3, I don't think has. I think he's only died like three times. The Uber comes off straight away. It was a force. See what they can do with Muffins this right now. Because Muffins so doesn't have it. Muffins doesn't have it yet. Muffins does not have it. Finally has it and uses it straight onto the demo. What can she do with this? Let's see what they can do. They're going to take down the heavy weapons. Go. Tech goes taken down. But the card is there. 248 to take that off the hill and over to the put. Over to the put. Or we could be looking at 12 minutes if not. So this is key for them right now. They have lost a few frags. But I'm pretty sure they could reset recycle. And oh, no, oh, Sabba, Sabba. Sabba, with a double there. Just what they needed at the right moment. So now, France on the back foot a little bit. That's and the first I've seen of Sabba, Sabba doing any, anything important in this game. It's the first big play he's made. It's about time, you know. 
it is about time. Like, Saba Saba is known as a really lethal spy. He's been a little bit quiet all game. So, uh, it's good to see him. He's actually at the bottom of the sheet. That's actually quite shocking. He, you know, I'm, I'm surprised. Like, Kuni gets taken down, but this is not that easy to push up to, especially with the fact that it's a slope. So, if you get off the point, it will go. If you get off the cart, it will go back down. Clark Paul are taken down, and Saba Saba gets headshotted. Well, no, that's just a dead ringer, is it? No. No, that's not a dead ringer. Sorry. What can he do though? I'm just looking at that. That's Isil. What can he do? He's behind everybody. He's trying to look for it. He's actually behind. He's trying to find the spot. Yeah, look at it. They know he's there. Yeah, he finally gets spotted. He does get taken out yeah, straight away. But Finland, it gives him time. It does, because as you mentioned, oh, as I, well, as I'm going to mention, Finland has had a new advantage, and they chose not to use it there. Instead, so they're going to let. France have another push, and look how far forward they've got, and Uber Exchange is coming in, Tech is going to make this multi. Ruse lost the sniper fight. Can they take the sentry gun? No, they can't take the sentry gun, and the French are losing players right now. Dylan gets taken out, there goes Plopper as well. I think they also lose a couple of Mappa, that's a key play there for Flippy. Taking out Nappa, but the, and that could be just a little bit they need, because now they've got no demo man. Here comes the soldier bomb, what can he do? He's going to try and go to the medic, can he get the medic, can he get Muffins? Does get taken out straight away. That sentry gun is being a lethal force there. Stappis goes down and Stappis Stappis. And units now, so they're losing the players right now. As a scout and a pirate and engineer, not much, but then comes the turnaround straight away. Tech and K3 gets taken out. The Finns are defending is pretty damn good with 40 yeah, seconds lost, left. They lost that energy there. And the spawns come in, it's, it gives a good position for France to repush. But um, yeah, it was a great defense though, and Rue kind of saves him, getting, showing that he's not the only, Flippy's not the only one clicking on him today. Clicking on the heads today. But he's dead. He's there dead goes now. Team Matt, yeah. There goes Team Matt. So, right now, no, look at, oh, Muffin's, Muffin's got with an Uber two swords. swords. They have now, huge Muffin's advantage. Got Uber. Huge they're advantage. not going to push, they're going to be complacent to hold them because they can just they can do that. They can force it. With nine seconds left, this is going to go down to map time in terms of what the fit and what the French want to do. Like yeah, if they then... capture third, that's it. They still have to go and capture fourth right now. 6.41 to capture third now. The time is at map limit, which is 6.35 and counting, and they lose flipping east or again. Let's see what they can do. They now know that they've got to get a... They know, well, technically get a move on, but I think they can pretty just hold this. But let's just see what they're going to do. It's just going to be mini sentries there. They lost their momentum, and this is where they've fallen. Now they can't get round the corner they're and down push. down three. Finland the down three. I mean, they could isolate some of these players, like Flippy does, takes out Nappa. That's a demo man pit, that's huge. Saba Saba doesn't do anything on the car, activates the dead ringer. Tack is buying his team. Look, look, Finland are going to run away, they but know look, it's lost. Look at this. Yeah, look at the difference between this push that the Finns did and the pushes that the French did onto Lars. Yes, they threw their Uber to take the Uber, but the players were there to help them. And it took out what they needed, and the dispenser and the teleporter gets taken out. They're all here. So, they capture third. The map time gets put back to 10 minutes, like they're almost setting a time. 9.45 is, is how long they need to capture last. That's what that's what the key time is right now. And Flippy gets taken out straight away. They do have the numbers up, though. Where is that sentry gun? It is actually far back into the back spawn. I'm surprised at that placement. Yeah, it's a um, slightly different placement, but just as common. It's just as hard to deny because it covers the main, the top, that Wrangle Sentry. And then um, it's just so near the spawn as well. So you have to deal with the Sentry or the combo. I mean, look at um, this pressure come in. Uber, Force, Force. Uber, early Uber, early Uber. Early Uber, but can they do something Muffins like that? Look at the nobody. soldier bomb. Look, look at oh, the no. soldier bomb. Tech, that, that, sorry, that's not Tech there. That was, um, uh, that was T-Mac. He was looking for assault, he was looking for the way the sentry could be in the medic. Well, it's not there, but they are getting a couple kills. There's Kareza and Nappa. Nappa gets taken out. Finally finds a sentry gun where he needs it, not where he wants it. There's the heavy weapon, guys. That is that uh that is uh tech there. He is Gerardi oh, up, but they are catching it. Down. Couple kills, team up down, but they Spies have a lot of players. Well. Spice Spies gonna sentry. slip zap that, that's it. This should be it now. They've got the point, they've got the players. Just that one Saba Saba really, not much he can do from behind, surely not. Let's see what he can try and do. He does get spotted straight away. Finally it goes, and it's going to be the first blood to the French, and it's going to be 1-0, and now they will set a time. Hopefully it won't be a long time. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm really glad you mentioned T-Max bombing behind, as you, as you were saying, because that gave the French... Um, it gave them options on this attack. It made the, the Finns split their focus, because they had to look for T-Max behind them. They were worried about him. He was decimating their flank. Another key mistake was um, 
even though France Ubered so early coming into that point, um, Muffins had, like, it was just a huge breakdown of communication between the combo, because Muffins, like, she was left alone, Curitas was at the top, trying to defend the top, Nappa ran back towards the, the sentry, and Muffins was just sort of stood there, didn't know Where's who to run. And they ended, she ended up dropping a heavy weapons guy. Where is the French sentry? Or oh, oh, no, 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 Switch team, yeah. yeah. I thought the game was live, yeah. Whoopsie daisy. That was good play by me, wasn't it? So, has this gone to has this gone uh, uh, to the script for you? Do you has this gone as you thought it would go? As we now go live just quickly, has this gone? Like I said, has it gone to the scripts in your opinion? Like yes, France, yeah. because France you have to put them as a favourite just because they came second last time, but this time they've got like um, that champions tag on them uh, in terms of like the ETF to L like Dara two to the core of the team is made up of. ETSL champions, Dara 2 2. Uh, 7 out of 9 players. Whilst Finland have been practicing really hard, you feel like just by watching a few of their players individually they're not as strong. That's just my impression. And just, um, so they seem slightly less coordinated as well. Yeah, I mean, it just didn't feel right. Something just did not feel right when you were watching, I mean, when you were watching it, was it? The big weakness for France has to be Kuna. I mean, he's done he's done quite good in the attacking round. They did a lot of damage, but defensively he was pretty poor. But Finland were just they were just as poor attacking. They weren't very creative. They were sort of like scared. I'd say would I call it typical European play? I like to call that out. They were just they weren't I know, really, I, I like, they weren't really I, doing I like anything. I like that analogy really well. Yeah. They were let's, just let's... hoping to get better position. Oh, hoping to get like better uber exchange rather than try to make things happen with their flank. Let, let's call the Finns the Europeans and the French the American. I mean, let, let's be honest though, we are going to see this come I-49 next week. And we are going to see the English, the Europeans win, aren't we? At LAN, I-49 next week in the 6v6 tournament. The Team Fortress 2 tournament that we will be casting. Where we've got Americans, Australians and Europeans. The Finnish, the Swedish, the French, the Germans, the English, the Americans, the Australians, everyone's coming. It is almost like a World Cup of Team Fortress 2 that we will be there to watch. I can't wait to watch it. Are you, you're going to be there as well, aren't you? Of course I'm going to be there. Of course. Not, I love not in the casting capacity. Playing with my friend's getting drunk capacity. Getting uh, drunk. Yeah, of course. Of course I'm going to be there, Scully. I'm looking forward to listening to you casts. Um, I mean, I've had a bit of trouble with my ears because I'm sort of one of them, sort of half deaf in one ear right now. So I'm hoping you will clear that problem for me with your screaming. So, if I do this right now, welcome again to Vanilla TV, ladies and gentlemen. Oh God. We're back here for the second map, the second round of the first map, and I've done that deliberately just for Hildreth. That good enough for you? I'd rather be deaf. Yeah. I <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, man. right. So uh, let's get back to the serious stuff, right there. We it never really went through the teams, did we? Not really. Uh, I mean, everyone should know who's playing if they just pressed. Well, if you see this press tab. Card. Anyway, for the French straight away: K3 medic, tech, heavy weapons guy, Kuna, demo man, flippy sniper, Izzel spy, Mister Heavy Weapons guy. He's the engineer. He's the engineer. Mm. Okay, don't know why he's like that. Uh, Dagon the pyro. Plapa the scout and T Mac the soldier. We quickly get up with 13 seconds for the finish. Muffins, medic, Zoob, soldier, napper, demo mine, create heavy. Zappa, Zappa, spy, shots, engineer, Rui, sniper, Zappa, scout, Eunice, pyro. We did it all in time. Sentry guns in the same place that the Finns put the first time. Let's see how aggressive the French want to be. Yeah, I'm, I can imagine they're going to take their combo straight out like they did last time. Four C Ubers. And they, Let's they, see. They favour Uber in their tech, like tech as his heavy weapons play. He's, he seems like he's a master of positioning. Like the way he's playing heavy right now. He's like controlling the flow of combo fights. Uber v Uber fishes. Has Issel made a spy play onto the sentry? Didn't work, but shots actually. No, I think he might have got backstab shots. To the, he got the, but he did get the dispenser yeah, as well. Yeah, he got the NG as well. So that's good, but you know, so he, and then the Uber comes off anyway. Sorry, when we're looking at that, the Uber trade off comes out, and Digger and Team Mac are the casualty. But this is it. This is the aggressiveness that the French like playing. They know this is quite a passive tick for tap map. The sentry the, the gun's been gone, the teleporter's still up there, and they catch it in 44 seconds, which is the exact same time as what they did the first, as they when, they when they were trying to attack four minutes. So, really good aggression right there. You can see, though, 
they've not had the success as they wanted first time around, and now they're gonna have to fight to try and get Bruce to second. Yeah, it's all about that pick on them, the, the engineer bite you saw at the start of the round, because it enabled their flank to take out the sentry without without much trouble, and then they'd won the flank, so they managed to push the cart through, and the combo from Finns, Finland had to fall back. But they struggled a bit on the third point, let's see how they do on the second point. Or Flippy straight away kills Rui. That's a big kill. That's what they need right now. Shot there with the Wrangler, just trying to do as much as he can. Uber comes short straight away, trying to take down that sentry gun as fast as they can. Does get taken down. The Uber's finally forced off to open the fifth. And they've not taken anything from it. Zuba with double though comes in. And then a triple. And then four there as he takes down Isil and Wapo. Sorry, it's a triple because he took down a sentry gun. But even still there, that's what they needed. Flipper takes down Zabba Sapper. And really at the moment, you've got to favor the Finns because of the fact the heavy weapons guy's still there. And now they're bailing out. But the, like the heroes bail out of a, far, of a house burning in the fire, take the final shots at the enemy and run away. That's what they've done as they've finally given up the second point. Or have they? Look where Zub is. He looks for a bomb, wants a bomb, and he's just holding off as much as he can. But they're not going to do much here, are they? No, the Finland have given them the point effectively. Um, they're way too far back to defend. But I love, I love what T Mac does with his, um, with his aggression. Because as he, even though the team is Fight a worse Uber, oh, wow. sorry, fights it down Muffins. Is all does take down Muffins, and why love he uses the icicle. It, I think isn't that like mainly the, the preference for most spies nowadays in Highlands? The icicle. He used the spicicle, sorry, used that, and you can just see straight away that it's a drop, and it's brilliant there. That's what they need, and the drop comes in. They did capture third, second, so they can go on to third if they all group up right now. Push as a unit with the Uber, otherwise they can't hold on for this because surely Muffins will get something back up quickly. That's true, I mean, I'm looking, Flippy's been shut down. I was going to say they got him in a decent position to snipe, but he was shut down straight away by Zappus. Finns still control this house, but they just, they don't have Uber, so... I see him if K3 is forced to use early, as he's walks in, he Uber, is forced yeah. to use really early. But they're going to get people around the corner, they're going to use it on this sentry. It's just a heavy, I don't know where Kuna is, he's not there at the front. That's going to do it, that's going to do it, that does do it, and you know what, that's fine. Flippy gets taken out, they lose no one apart from Flippy from that, and they take down the sentry gun. Yes, they've lost the Uber advantage, but they d now they have to rebuild that sentry. How quick can he build it, that's the question. Uh, but to be fair, with the amount yeah. of play, the price they're getting right now, he should have no problem building this up. Yeah, the Finns ran into that death trap of the hill and just got spammed from all angles. It especially helped that um, Flippy, the danger man on this point, went down. You've really got to watch Flippy. Although, look at Kuna in that house, trying to spam the um, NG, f NG from the house. He's just sort of camping there. And France is sending more of their flank to the house. Flippy's up, trying to snipe people. Saba Saba needs to really target Flippy, because he's he's really the main man. And look at now this. Now they're going to take the sentry gun. They take the sentry oh, really? gun. Wow, Rui they got take the sentry gun and they got K3, no medic for France, they just need to clean them up now, Finland. Get and them they off the Uber, though. The Uber's got, they've got no choice but to go for the Uber. Not notice the spy! Not notice the spy! Finally notice the spy they take a couple kills, don't... but the sentry gun went down and they used the Uber. So... I don't understand that pop, to be honest. I mean, I, I... I felt like they should have saved it, but it doesn't matter because it was a free Uber because K3 died. I guess it was their thinking, but they need to clear that house out. Because T Mac is getting in there, so causing them trouble. Kuna's in there, causing loads of trouble. They, they need to get almost. They can almost put a set a, a teleporter up there and just have the whole team up there, and then they would they would not be able to stop that, surely. Like I'm just thinking, if they put a, tele, a teleporter up top, uh, up in the house, and try and push from the house. Know. It'll wow, get destroyed. Wow, goes though. down. Grace does get taken down. This is going to be big. Can they get anything from this? The heavy weapons guy trying his best. T Mac, I mean that's tech, so he can't really do much. Two on one, he will take a couple kills though. But you're right. The, the key is trying to take that sentry gun down. It's in, it's such a it's such a choke point. What can they do? They really need a T-Mac bomb just to go in there. In fact, there's a spy, but he takes that shot to send the medic, so that's not going to help. But he starts to tell up the sentry gun. This could be what they need. Muffins finally goes down to a back up from Esau, playing the key point there. They're going to use the Uber because the, the card is above the hill. Use the Uber to try and bully as many people as they can. They've completely cleared last as much as they can. Just one scout does get taken down. 545, now they're going to start oh. moving forward. They're wasting time, but it is a complete wipe, but they have taken everybody. Now they can start pushing onto this. Mini Sentry will go up right in front. And look, they're having, look at, look, the Finns have to resort to a Mini Sentry now because they know how clutch it is. Brilliant. 
play the there. camping coming out from France. Yeah, could... why not? Yeah. They got no, yeah, they've got this in the bag right there. They're going to take onto this right now. Rui gets like, it doesn't matter who dies right now. Because let's just see what the time's going to be. It's going to be 7 minutes. I know, 6.09. So that's, that's such a, a good time. Big. That's a good time, especially on Bomb Blitz. Like, most maps, 6 minutes, you'd probably say average. But on Bomb Blitz, that is a very good time. Especially how long they were idling and trying to get around the corner onto third. So, yeah. brilliant for them. They struggled at third point in France, but they've had no problem at the last point. Typically they struggled the, the last time. Point. Didn't they? They really struggled the last time, didn't they? I'm pretty sure the last time on the third point they struggled as well, so maybe maybe it's just a norm, you know, maybe that's just normal by them, but I am quite surprised, I must admit, so... See where yeah. they're going to put the sentry gun, same place as before, it's, it's nice that you really can tell really the sentry, the, you know, both, both, um, both, met, you know, both engineers from each team, they always have different ways of playing the position, and I'm always surprised when they play in so many different locations, and... You know, that one I just don't enjoy. I mean, you know, I've seen it put in around a few different places. Like, I've seen somebody put it on the um, grass area. Like, where the combo's holding, but... Yeah, this, this, uh... The French, it's just so good when... When you're... Oh, like, I keep saying the spy and the sniper, sniper keep going huge for France. Isel has just been playing out of his skin, getting med yep. kills, key kills Stop. in fights. Just have to wait for the first exchange right now. I'm just going to say, USA are 1-0 up in the game against Sweden. They've gone to the second map, and I believe they are def uh, attacking a time. As we're just going to see if there's any be pop here. Spy does miss. There he goes. He finally gets taken him out. K3, again, I love that position by K3, man. That's just a brilliant position for him to stand in. He's not going to get spotted whatsoever if he goes there. Ruby takes down Flippy. So that's what they want. Look at this. The, the Finns, they have to be aggressive. They're pushing forward without their medic, without Muffin. It's something that she likes doing. She likes waiting until there's an advantage. So they can just push forward. Now, see what they can do. They know where the sentry gun is because they've just seen it from the Wrangler. Reflect there onto t -Mac. That's key. Do they take out t oh. there? What can they do with this? Kuna gets second down. It's going to be a down man. There's a pyro jump out. She's trying to do soldier jump. Sorry. He does make the force. That's what they want. Finally, the wall is broken. Well, that's not really a wall. It's a wooden fence. The I fence is broken and K3 gets through. Yeah, it was um, it was a good sick team play. Kuna got isolated, and then Zub jumps over whilst the tech was distracted by the pyro. But I just feel like they've spent like what a minute and they spent a minute and the, they're going to spend a minute and a half like getting this push organised. Except Isso drops Muffin as she comes out of spawn. He's done it again. This this guy I've never heard of him to be honest. The spy no, I've from never Osmos, heard of but he is going huge right now. I've never heard of the Esau guy, but I've got to admit, he's been, he's been pl really playing some Lights Out Spy play. Like, I've not, he's I've been showing up Sabba Sabba. Like, that's rare for someone to show up Sabba Sabba, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, Sabba Sabba is quite a well-known, established spy, but it's mainly because the quality of spy in Europe isn't really, uh, at a premiership level, isn't really seen as an old T-Mac dropping onto Muffins taking them, as, as I was going on about spies. Look where the sentry, look where the card is, though. It's in the worst place for them, because it's above the ramp. There is a small ramp there which will push it back down. But it's above there, so they can't do anything with it because it's so close to the point. So it's gonna fall down now. There we go. Trickles down. And now it's back, but now they're gonna go back up it. But 405, they haven't even gotten near, they haven't even captured the first point. They've wasted a whole two minutes on this first point, and they still haven't got it. And now the sentry gun position is completely up showing me as the Uber comes off by K3. Yeah, the, I mean, they, they had that Uber in the bank, which kind of saved them the hill. Because Finland finally pressuring as a combo. Look how much better they're doing. They've forced Tech backwards, and they've taken the hill. They're going to take the hill, the Napa goes down. It will give France a chance to retake it. But I love the organisation by the French. Shots is trying to do a ninja NG cap. But there's like four people on the cart, five people on defending the hill. It's a great, like, great this teamwork. Is great. This is just great. Like you say, I mean, if we could just get a map and just do a John Madden circle and play, BAM! There's your quarterback. BAM! There's your wide receiver. Anyway, Uber comes off straight away. Will K3 get taken down? Is he going to get taken down? BAM! That's your defensive play there. Finally gets taken down. But that's what they need. They still not captured this point, Hildrum. They still not walked onto it and it's 303 left. Now they finally do. They've left the teleporter. Oh dear. They've left the teleporter. I don't, I don't even know where it is. Oh, it's, it's hidden, isn't it? It's in the splash. It's in the. Yeah, somebody the... might take it later to make huge plays, but other than this, they're not going to save this second point unless all mistakes come out by Finland. Kefu is in a bit of a pickle there, but Napa didn't spot him, so. 
the, uh, the sentry gun goes Nikki. down. He actually destroyed the set. He actually destroyed the teleporter. Sorry. So I don't like how far forward Napper is. And T Max saw that. He saw that he was completely alone. And look at that. They've overextended the fins. And they might. They might be able to block this cap, France, if they play quick enough. I think they've got so many men around the cart. Oh, T Max. Soldier bomb. Soldier uh, bomb. Brilliant. Oh, shots. There. Good well, shot. It, it, it hindered though. It hindered the push. So if anything, that's good. Two twelve to capture. Two points, and they haven't even started. They've got to just keep on that yeah, this, on that cart all time now. This map is about momentum. Although Uber, Kuna, early Uber. It's so it's early. early. Early Uber. Let's see what he's going to do with it. Absolutely diddly as they take nothing from it. And the sentry gun is still up. The sentry K3 gun is, is still in a bad up. position, but they've just not got enough players with the Zuba to do anything. And it's all with a great ambassador snipe onto Mapper. Great shot by him. He's showing all of his, all of his class. Saba Saba desperately trying to revolver, activates his death finger. It's a bit desperate by Finland at the moment. They're just going in with all, as many players as they got. Um, France say, you know what? We have Uber. We're going to waste a bit of time. We're going to use one twenty-seven. I mean one twenty-five. I'm pretty sure there's no way they can get all the they way to last. They need to get a now. great non uber push right now. France, K3 wants to get out of there. But here's a bomb by T Max straight onto the car and takes down two players. And can he get them in it? No, he's he gone behind. Be. But look at he bought so much time for his combo to escape. And France could even hold his point. They've got Flippy on the right sniping. He's not been spotted. Hits a headshot on the pyro. Zoom finally sees him. One minute to catch a last. Can it be done? I don't um, think it can. can be done. Um, France have done it <laughs> twice in this game. They've capped last in like under a minute both times. But, but they're going to get on everywhere, and let's just see where... Uh, the Ubers actually come off straight early, they know they've got to... They haven't found a combo correct. from France. They haven't found a combo, and they're so committed, they're the going to get cleaned up. Oh, heavy drops, they basically come straight down. It is an absolute calamity as Plop Plop goes huge for T-Mac. T-Mac with a jump, and that's I see four kills dead. Three Only kills for T-Mac. Three for Tech, two for Plop Plop. 24 seconds, there is no overtime because it's a stopwatch. This looks like the first map will be going to the French, and it's not a 90-minute bound blitz. Thank God for that. Yeah, I mean, France's pushes, especially in that last point, was just pretty bad. I have to say that they didn't seem to have a plan. I'm sorry, France has had Finland's pushes. They didn't seem to have a plan on that last point. Every time they went in, and they didn't even notice the combo was above them when they walked in with that, and they didn't get out in time, and they didn't realise that French had a better Uber. So just all of these... Like combination of factors, I don't think they're creative enough in their flank. I like the I like how T Max playing in this game as a soldier, the way oh, he's the been great, his aggression, like. just the way he plays, like in pushes and defense. He buys, he knows when to go in just to buy his combo time. Yeah, which is I mean, just the most impressive part. Who would you call your man of the match or man of the map? I mean, like, well, really, I mean, I've, 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 T Max has impressed me just so much the way he's played, but I think I've got to give it to the spy Isil. And Flippy yeah, has been the fire like, in the first round. Isil played uh, played some really nice plays, and he wasn't waiting for a moment. If he saw there was a stab, he could go for a stab. Like I know, you, I know, like the rule is try and get a medic drop, but like any key pick could be good. If you take a heavy, that's a key pick. If you take a soldier, a key pick. Delma, that's a key pick. So the medic is the primary goal, but the secondary goals, and that's what Isil was going for, which I was really impressed with. He was just making out that he was just picking off the right points and the right players at the right time. So I've got to agree with you with the man of the, man of the map there, but I'm not allowed to because casters aren't allowed to agree, so I have to go for T-Mac. Thanks for that. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the French players are really playing well. I mean, they're just so good. That's all you can say, really. The, the Finnish team slightly less individual class, slightly less uh, teamwork in the combo. Things like that. Sort of capitalise. Yeah. There was 